guys, welcome to my channel. This is Gaming with Grandma. All right, guys, so uh, this is kind of like an update in a way. Um, yeah, my feet are killing me. Me and my son, uh, we had to go to Walgreens because I had my vertigo medicine, which is in my backpack. I got to take it out. Um, but I took my vertigo when we got to McDonald's. Um, but yeah, we went to Walgreens, picked up my meds. Um, my son had to stand in line because I couldn't, so I sat down. And then when it was his turn to go up, then I got up and I went up there. Um, they got my meds, they gave it to me, which I was very thankful because of my vertigo being so bad. Um, I was waiting for like three or four days for my medicine to be filled and I think they messaged my um, primary care doctor because she filled it. Um, the other doctor did not fill it. So she seen that I had been seen by him and probably seen all his notes. Um, I don't know if you guys know this, but a lot of times if you're in a hospital, they will give you your, um, your own doctor thing and then they have you sign in or you sign up whatever and this will tell you all your appointments what you need to do you know it it shows all the doctor's notes like messages you can look at messages um there's no conversation appointments no messages um yeah so a lot of time i want to do visits um, yeah, these are all the times I was in the hospital. So it started March 27th. Oh, that was way, that was way, way, way. That was in 2018. Good golly. Um, it says a year ago. It's not a year ago. Um, so I went into the emergency department on the 22nd of February. Uh, and then they had me in the hospital for five days. Uh, and then they let me go home. And then I ended up back in the hospital and I stayed another six days. So, yeah. So, uh, <laughs> this was March 19th. Um, this is the day. I, if I look at my calendar, I think it was the 6th I got out of the hospital. Um, but, you know, you can, you can go and look at all your test results you can check. This is all the test results they did on me. I mean, they did every single test that they could possibly think of to figure out. They even had the B vitamins, which now I take these. Uh, I take one every day. Um, because they thought maybe it was low, um, low, uh, what is it called? The vitamins and that. So I got that. Um, but yeah, they did... They did literally every, even blood alcohol. <laughs> Normal range, zero, of course, because I don't drink, bozo. I could have told you that. I didn't even know they did an alcohol test on me. Um, yeah, I don't know what this T3 and T4 is. Let's see here. Uh, Normal range, this S is interference from high levels of Biton, which may falsely elevate results. Whatever that means. Oh, information. Let's see, what is this? This test measures the level of free B tube 4 in your blood. It helps your health provider know how well your thyroid is working. Free testosterone. This test measures both your total free testosterone levels having levels that are too high or too low um yeah they got all sorts of stuff all sorts of information in that um but yeah yeah i mean when you're when you get released they will give you um uh, on your paper they will give you a thing on how many tests they did what they ran what was the results all that stuff they they literally tell you everything now um, it's not just the paperwork that they hand you when you go home, but they also have all the tests they did. And cause I mean, could you imagine, 
how much it would be if they had to write all that down on paper. <laughs> um, I even read stuff about um, we, we, we think she's a side case, blah, blah, blah. And I'm just like, you guys are on crack. But um, I do have an appointment on the 11th, which tomorrow I got to call my cab. Um, and, uh, oh, yes, I was trying to do a recording for the PSVR. I was trying to record it. I recorded it finally after 12 times trying. Then I recorded it. So then I went to the videos and literally it froze in the middle of it. So I'm like, wow. It's like, are you freaking serious? Are you, are you joking? Even the PSV, even the PS4 can't record. Oh, excuse me. I know you guys are saying, Grandma, you yawn too much. I do, I do. Especially around this time, I get really tired. Um, but I just wanted to give you guys a notation of how I'm doing. Um, if I walk for too long, my feet start hurting. If I walk even farther, then the top of my feet start like feeling they're on fire. And if I keep walking and ignore it and I don't sit down and take a break, that's when it feels like they're going to blow up. Like they're getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And it's, it hurts. It hurts like hell. Um, my, my son, uh, was making a joke. I looked like I had something stuck in my pants or something. Like I was, I was, I was trying to get away from whatever was in my pants. Like, uh, some mouse or something was in my pants or something. I don't know. It's weird. But, um, yeah, me and my son are, are very weird. Um, but yeah, um, yeah. I'm just, I'm drained because we had to go to Walgreens and then I wanted to go to McDonald's because having, having them bring it to us, um, would have been more expensive. It had been like 26 when we only paid, I don't know what it is. It's better to go into the store and buy food from McDonald's just to the effect of they don't have everything that you want on your phone. Like, they have better offers at McDonald's when you go in the store and you open your app and you put the number in. It always says scan it, but you can't scan it. You just open your phone and then go to the rewards or whatever. And they'll give you a number and then you just type it in the McDonald's thing and then you're good to go. Um, so, I got, I have tons of points for McDonald's. I always get my points, like from Burger King and from McDonald's. Taco Bell, I don't think they have a point system yet. I'm hoping they do because that would be fantastic. Um, yeah, I've never known. Um, that also, uh, Wendy's doesn't do it either. So, I only go to places that get me offers. To, but we got a free, um, a free Big Mac today. And, well, at first, I got my son a 10-piece chicken nugget uh, meal with the large fry and a large drink. He ate it, and he was still hungry. So, I got him the Big Mac, and I got him a double cheeseburger. He ate both of that. He said, I'm still hungry, but I know if I eat something, it's going to be really hard to go home. Um, so we were on our way home. I was freezing, man. That wind was so cold. Oh my gosh, it was freezing. My hands were frozen when we got in. It was like, kind of like, <sighs> when you're not prepared. And, uh, yeah, when you're not prepared, you go out there. And I'm glad I brought my heavy coat. The only thing is, is I didn't bring my, my usual hat. I figured I would use the little scarf thingy that just goes over your ears and you tuck your, you tuck it into your thing and it's kind of like sideways, you know, on your head and then over your ears and then down to your neck. And I tried, I was like, I'll do that. When I was on my way home, my forehead literally was frozen because one, it's raining and snowing 
and it was literally beating on my forehead. That's how cold it was. It was freezing. And Alexa did not help me about the weather. She said 32 degrees. And I'm like, okay. And she's like, wear a heavy coat. I was like, okay. I wore a heavy coat. She didn't tell me to wear a warm hat. Why? And when I said her name, she didn't even turn on because she hates me. She don't like me no more. <laughs> I literally have to scream at her. Um, but yeah. Um, yeah, so I got an appointment on the 11th. I was trying to catch my 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 thoughts. Um, but yeah, it was really cold today. It was really cold. But I am so sorry again, guys. I am like, I was yawning in VR I kept yawning, and I'm like, okay, I can't do this no more. <laughs> I had to take the headset off. Um, but, yeah, I got tons of games. But I, I wanted to show you guys, I have a cooling. It's like a cooling. I uh, got my PS4 on it. I got all the games. The controllers fit on the other side. And my VR, if you notice, it's hanging off the uh, thing, which I did not notice. I'll be right back. Okay, well, I'm glad I looked because I literally wouldn't have noticed it. I'm going to have to um, stick something underneath to keep it from moving around or whatever um, because I definitely don't want it to fall when I'm playing VR. Um, my cord is kind of tangled. I have to untangle it. But I was trying to do VR and it froze. And I'm like, are you serious? So... Yeah, and I was trying to broadcast, but they didn't even have the right YouTube channel. They were doing something else. I'm like, what the hell are you doing? So, yeah, I don't know. But, yeah, um, it hurts like hell uh, when I walk. Um, sometimes if my feet are really, really bad, where I've done too much walking, I have to use my walker. Um Sometimes when I have to do dishes, I end up having to sit on my chair in my walker because doing dishes standing up hurt like hell. So, yeah. Um, but usually it's it's really hard to do stuff um, that requires a lot of standing. So that's why I'm glad I got the PSVR because the Quest, I can't do that. I can't, I can't sit down. I mean, yeah, you could sit down, watch movies or, you know... I wish Netflix would get into the game of VR and literally make one other than sitting on a stinking couch. I mean, you try the void and it's like you can make it bigger and I've tried and it just, it doesn't work. I have not tried watching movies on any services on the PS4 yet. I don't know yet, um, but it would be nice to know exactly what stuff looks like for movies in that that would be amazing um i'm not sure what they have for netflix for the ps4 for the vr um but i will check those out um i do want to talk to you guys about something someone gave uh someone let me know that um that building that i showed you guys didn't look like it was burnt well because they had to i guess clear it out I mean I didn't even see any burn marks anywhere but there was guys there that were like up on top and they were like cleaning so I'm thinking because the fire happened in what was it I'm not sure if it was March yeah it was sometime this year I think um I don't think it was last year um but yeah, they were they were cleaning. I mean, they were literally like when I saw them, they were like brushing. They were like brushing the concrete. So I think what they were doing is they were cleaning it off um, with the soot or something. I don't know. Uh, when I looked, I was like, "What happened?" You know, the whole mall was closed, 
And I'm just like, what the hell happened? So I went to um, I went to the bathroom at Burlington Co Factory, and uh, I had to look at my phone. What the hell happened? Because I didn't know. I didn't suspect a fire or nothing, you know. And I seen a nine second clip, and I'm just like, wait, what? And I'm just like, you got to be kidding me. I wish they would have had more on it, but they do have. Um, I wanted to show you guys this real quick. Um, uh, the curling, um, let's see the curling, uh, place on Villa, uh, Villa Park. Uh, okay, uh, Villa Park, yeah, here we go, yeah, this is the one that, um, this is the one that I found out a couple of days ago, um, I'm gonna turn this, I'm gonna turn this on, I'm not even sure if it's working, their volume insurance yeah. covers nearly every car on the road there plus you pick uh. okay crap forced the local curling club to close for a fire in west suburban villa park has forced the local curling club to close for now take a look at the water damage inside firefighters say they battled a stubborn fire at the strip mall for almost 10 hours on monday night windy city curling club says there is extensive water damage to locker rooms drywall furniture and more gofundme account to help the club rebuild has already raised more than twenty thousand dollars yeah, so that's what I was talking about, which I didn't even know the curling company was actually not curling your hair and all that. I literally thought that was what it was, but it was a weight area. And I was so confused. And when I was looking through the windows, I noticed it, it wasn't like a curling iron thing. Uh, it was a weight room. And people would go there and work out, have their stuff in their lockers. I can't imagine people that had this stuff in their lockers and then this happened. Oh, my gosh. Could you imagine if you had important things in that locker and all of a sudden there's a fire and you're just like, whoa. <laughs> yeah, so um, I'm not sure when that video was that I just saw. Let me see what. Um, no, that's not what I wanted. <laughs> mm. Here we go. Um, let's see here. Um, uh, I'm trying to think what I was going to do. Yeah, I forgot what I was going to do. Oh, well. But anyway, yeah. So, that's my life. I just sit around basically at home and try to get stuff done that I can manage. Uh, it's really hard when I can't stand on my feet for very long at all. Unless I really have to go somewhere. Then I kind of just bite down on my tongue and say, mm. <laughs> Um... Sometimes, you know, if you see me walk, I, like, move everywhere. It's it's crazy. Um, but if I didn't have my vertigo meds, I would be on the ground. I literally would fall. Um, so, yeah. Um, I'm doing okay. Um, I really want to get up and exercise and do the stuff I used to. But that ain't happening. So, I got to wait till my... Um, my 11th appointment, which I cannot wait for. I want to get this done. I want to get it fixed. If I have to have surgery, I have to have surgery. I don't care. I just want my feet back. 
Um, so hopefully, you know, there's a way where we could get, you know, the impulses from my feet to stop electrocuting me because that hurts like hell. I mean, can you imagine your feet, right? And there's electricity going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And it's all the time. It's like electricity just going back and forth in your feet. And it hurts like hell. Um, sometimes, you know, if it's really bad, I'll start getting a migraine. Um, and then I got to take uh, the 800 milligrams of Tylenol because that's the only thing that'll work for it. Um, but on my way home, I started getting a headache because I hurt so bad. <laughs> but because of the cold weather and it being on my forehead, that headache went away. <laughs> so maybe just an ice pack on the forehead until your forehead's frozen and then you won't need anything. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. But, um, yeah. So I hope that answered your question. Um, about that it didn't look like a fire because I know they were cleaning up there. Um, I wasn't sure what in the world they were doing because they had like these, I don't know what you call it, pressure hoses or whatever. And they were like up on top and they were like spraying the top, which I was confused. I didn't know what they were doing. I was like, so what's going on? You know? Yeah. So it's really hard to look at a building and be like, oh. <gasps> It was a fire, but it happened a while ago because they have, I don't know, they've been working on it, making sure that no one knew it was a fire. I don't know, but I'm hoping GameStop comes back because I am dying to go to GameStop. I went to Retro Games and it's cool, you know, if you want to take in your old systems like the Wii and the... Uh, you know, the guitars, the um, PlayStation 2 guitars and other stuff and that, you know. That's good for retro stuff. I mean, they got tons of retro stuff. So if you have like a, um, um, if you have like an Atari, they have so many games. They, they literally have boxes underneath. Plus they have more on top. Dude, people were rummaging through the boxes to find the games they were looking for. It's just like, good grief. Maybe I should get one of those systems. Not. I like the games I play now. <laughs> I couldn't go back to retro games, to be honest. It would shatter my dignity. <laughs> the game system I got was the Atari. And me and my sister used to play Pong. I mean, they had, they had asteroids. Um, they had, oh, what else was there? See, asteroids, centipede, um, all the cool little retro games. Um, because all you had was one button and a little controller. That was it. So, and then later on they came out with Pac-Man and I wanted Pac-Man so bad. But my parents were like, no, because it, it was $80 for Pac-Man. When my dad said, you know how much that game is? I was like, no, but I want it. And he's like, $80. And I just literally looked at him and said, never mind. I won't ask again. I didn't even ask for Christmas because I knew my parents couldn't get me that. I know, I know they wanted to. I mean, they... Parents want to make you happy when you're a kid. They don't want to disappoint you. But if you're a kid and you go into a store and you're screaming and you're hollering, just think what everybody else is doing. They're looking directly at you. You're the one screaming. They're going to look directly at you and stare at you and say, why you're at a certain age? Why should you be doing that? I always rewarded my kids. Oh, gosh, I got dizzy there for a sec. I was turning my head too fast. Uh, I have to remember I can't do that. Oh, uh, It's just the room spinning, though, because I moved my head too quick. Uh, <laughs> I think I'm going to take a, a, take a break. Uh, yeah, the room is spinning. Fantastic. I shook my head too much. Um, <laughs> I still do get dizzy. I still do have the vertigo, but only when I shake my head or I bend over too fast and get up too fast, 
And then I start, I mean, the room starts spinning, but not as bad as it was when I wasn't taking them. I mean, it, I, I, the room was doing this, and I was doing this. So, it was like double motion. It was kind of like I was going upside down while the world was spinning around. I wanted to get off that ride. <laughs> I kept telling my son I want off the ride. I don't like it. I want off the ride. The only bad thing when you have vertigo and it's that bad, you can't get off the ride. <laughs> You're stuck on it. So, yeah. Don't shake your head, Grandma. That's stupid. Well, I'm not stupid, but what I did was very stupid. <laughs> and my ears are ringing because I'm being too loud. Um, <laughs> go figure. Um, so, yeah. Um, I'm doing this because I was trying to get rid of that ringing. Um, I get very loud sometimes and I regret it because then my ears start ringing and I'm like, ah. Yeah, when I'm on the headset, I got to keep it down kind of low. I can't have it like loud because then all of a sudden it'll start just it'll be like sirens going off in my ears um but yeah I'm I'm doing okay I'll say um for the medical part of it but mentally I'm doing actually really good um sometimes I get down sometimes I'm just like I'm bored uh, nothing to do I'm bored da -de da -de da you know but um yeah I'm doing okay I mean I have my issues with walking around and not being able to do what I want to do. Um, but I got my PSVR to keep me company and I got tons of games on my PS4. Um, some of the games that I mentioned, they said, because uh, I was looking it up, and someone had said that you can play single player on that Wolf Within, but you don't gain anything. You don't like get any points or any kind of tracking or anything like that oh great my battery's low on my watch i gotta charge it but uh yeah i mean basically um there is just so much medical stuff that they have to go through because i mean they were trying to figure it out and i the doctor when i was talking to the doctor for vertigo I asked him, that, why was I frozen? Why when I laid down to take a nap and I woke up and I couldn't move? And he looks at me and he says, I don't have no idea. It's like, seriously? Doesn't anybody know why I was literally frozen and couldn't move? And I told him, I said, once they sat me up, I could move. I don't understand why I was frozen. And no one wants to tell me. And he says... You know, it's just something us doctors don't understand yet. And I'm just like, well, I hope the other doctor can fix it. <laughs> I mean, I wasn't saying he's not fixing it. I wasn't saying that at all. I just said I hope the, um, the neurologist can figure out what is going on with the pulsing in my body. And uh, he says, that's still going on. I said, yeah. I said, I can still feel it. I mean, it's not as bad as it used to be um but I can still feel it go through my body and he's like "Ooh," I said after a while I kind of get used to it um like I'll I'll do this or I'll adjust my shoulders or you know I'll stretch because it just it's like it shoots up my leg and stops it like hits my knee and it stops um, a lot of times, you know, if I walk way too much, it'll literally hit my knee and bounce back to my foot. And then my, my leg kind of wobbles a little and then I catch my footing. But yeah, it sucks because when my feet hurt really bad, it's bouncing from my knee down on my feet just over and over and over. And it's like, stop. But uh, yeah, I hope when I go on the 11th, I pray to God this doctor can figure out what the hell is going on because I literally do not know what else to do. Um, so I'm hoping the neurologist can explain why I was frozen in bed because I have no clue. And none of the doctors there knew what, what was going on. 
the ambulance guys that came in, they thought I was faking it. I don't want to be frozen. You know, I don't want to not be able to move. That was scary. It was terrifying me. And they acted like, eh, she's faking it. I don't know about you, but if someone's faking an illness or faking something just to get attention, that's not a way to get attention. I know I don't need any attention. I got I got my son, I got my VR, got my games. Um yeah, I'm I'm good. Um mentally I'm I'm actually really good today. Some days, you know, it's I'm bored. There's nothing to do. I want something to eat, but I don't want to go get it. <laughs> so it's kind of like that. Um, but, uh, yeah. So uh, I guess that's about it. I hope you guys have a fantastic night. God bless, and I will see you guys next time. This is Grandma signing out. Adios, amigos. Ghosts. I'm out.